want to capture rainwater? Think about it. When it rains, where does all that water go? Does it go into your yard or does it begin to flow into the street? Let's talk about how you could save that water while helping prevent flooding, erosion, and pollution. Swells are depressions that hold or move water. They are often used in landscapes to sink water into the soil, giving plants a deep, lasting moisture. Bioswells add plants in or adjacent to the swell. The bacteria in the root zone of these plants helps filter pollutants, cleaning the water as it absorbs. Dry stream beds function like a bioswell, but have a natural rocky look, like a creek that only runs when it rains. All three help recharge groundwater, reduce runoff, and keep landscapes water-wise. If you want to know exactly how to implement these in your garden, check out our WaterWise Garden Planner under Garden Features, where there is more information on how to build a dry stream bed. You're probably wondering, why not rain barrels? Rain barrels are great when maintained properly. Rain barrels store water for later use, but without maintaining the screening, you're basically building mosquito habitat. Not to scare you, just letting you know. Plus, they overflow easily. A swale, on the other hand, can capture thousands of gallons of water and infiltrate both during and after a storm. Don't let rainwater escape. Whether it's a bioswale, a dry stream bed, or just a regular swell, the goal is the same. Slow it, spread it, and sink it. Some plants to plant adjacent to your swell are common yarrow, platter pod, deer grass, desert mallow, golden currant, hummingbird sage, island bush poppy. For the full list, make sure to check out the WaterWise Garden Planner. So when is the best time to start? Well, yesterday. But the second best time to start is before a storm hits again. If you need further resources, make sure to check out the WaterWise Garden Planner. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below.